guys, how are you doing today? It's been a while since I made a chill video here in my room and that's because for the past nine months my channel has been focused on braces. That has been quite helpful to be honest because that way I didn't have to talk about my life on camera. <laughs> Ever since the pandemic started my life had been all about work and me feeling miserable because I didn't like my job and I went on a trip in May thinking that was gonna solve all my problems but no I mean I had an amazing time there but as soon as I came back I started feeling miserable once again I was just so done with it I needed to do something with my life I needed to do something with my time because my schedule was super dull not interesting at all and so I decided to pick up a new hobby I don't really know if that's a thing for you but I do have a list of things I would like to do before I die that's a thing for me. I actually have a written list and learning how to make coffee has always been on that list and I was like, you know what? It's now or never. Let's go for it. I'm gonna have so much fun and let's do it. For the very first time in my life, I can picture myself as the owner of something, which is super bizarre because I don't consider myself a talkative person at all. I am not like super outgoing, I am not an extroverted person, but I don't know. The fact that I can design my own menu and then choose the music and the ambience and the interior design. <laughs> I don't know. Even though I don't have the resources, it just makes me happy to have something to fantasize about. So today, I'm gonna take you guys to my barista school so you guys can see what I've been up to, so you guys can see what my life is currently like beyond braces. <laughs> I'm gonna show you real quick what I bring to my barista school. So here is my backpack. It's just a regular backpack. There's nothing extraordinary about it. And so when we open it up, first thing we see is a folder. Let me put this thing right here. As you can see, I have three books. It's one for each month because it's a three month course. It started in July, so we're getting towards the end. Another thing I have in this folder is a plastic bag because uh, coffee pucks that we use in school, I bring them home because my mom uses them as fertilizers. Another thing I have is a water bottle. This is super important, not only for me because I have braces, but for everybody. Coffee stains teeth, guys. So if you're a coffee drinker like I am and if you want to try to prevent that from happening, you should rinse your mouth with water after drinking coffee. Then we have a dish towel. I really like this one. I bought it specifically for this course. It's coffee themed. It says coffee please. And then it's always coffee time. Right here it says, but first coffee. And then we have, you know, coffee beans. And it's just very pretty. This little pocket right here, I keep a small notebook to take notes and then my wand pen haha <laughs> wingardium leviosa and last but not least i have my apron this is my school's apron i like the colors a lot i have a pocket right here where i normally put a spoon then we have my school's logo it says escuela peruana del cafe or Peruvian school of coffee in English then right here we have You know this piece where I hang my dish towel and then two pockets I normally put my cell phone and my notebook and my favorite part is this Ravenclaw pin that I put right here, you know, just to show the Ravenclaw pride all the time I am currently getting ready for my final exams. Actually, by the time you watch this video, my finals will be next week, so please wish me luck. We have three exams. One of them is theory, so it's a written exam. Then for practice, we have to dial in the grinder, 
We have to make a double espresso, set up the table, clean the espresso machine, following the right steps and then make a cappuccino or a latte. And the last exam is a presentation we have to give on a brewing method, which was randomly chosen by our teacher. I got the AeroPress, so I still have a lot to read, so I have something to talk about while brewing coffee in front of a class. <laughs> I am enjoying that course so much, guys. Like, obviously, one of the reasons is because that's something I've wanted to do for so long. But also because even though it is currently my hobby, I know it can potentially become a career in the future. As I said earlier, it'd be super cool to own a coffee shop. It can also get quite frustrating at times though because, well, this might probably be just my thing but <laughs> I am constantly looking for this one thing I want to be good at from the very start so I can finally say, oh, I was born to do this. And it happens to me all the time, like every time I try to do something new, like a new activity or whatever and it's just... <sighs> And obviously with coffee, that's not possible because everything is about practice. I am fully aware that practice makes perfect, okay? But that's just how I am. <laughs> Latte art, for example, like I don't know how to make a rosetta, I don't know how to make a tulip, I hardly know how to make a plain white heart, and 95% of the times I get it wrong. <laughs> I know I can't complain about it because I missed my latte art classes because of freaking COVID, and I can't even practice here at home because I obviously don't have an espresso machine. I try to practice using my French press, but it's not the same thing. All I'm saying is that I wish I could be more involved in the coffee community after my classes are over. I don't want this to be a three-month course and that's it because this course has definitely opened more doors that I want to explore. There is coffee roasting, there is coffee tasting, which are things that I am very interested in. So hopefully after this course is over, I'll continue learning more about it and just be more involved. So now I think it's time for me to get ready for my class. By the way guys, for my course, my barista school has two classrooms and we're constantly switching between those two, so I don't really know which classroom we're getting today. I'm gonna try my best to show you both classrooms or I can also go and film another day. Hmm. Anyway, I just really hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoy making it. So I am here in my classroom. As you guys can see, here we have two grinders, espresso machine. Here we have some brewing methods. Another espresso machine here. Another one there. There. Latte art. Expectations. <laughs> I can't even do the heart. So terrible. Here we have a huge coffee roasting machine. This is for a whole different course though. This is the other classroom. I like this one better. <laughs> That's my teacher. That's my teacher. <laughs> Here we can see espresso machines. And I really like the lights. They're so cute. We have three tables, which is nice because the experience is more personalized. And Right here we have a sink.
lagi. Entonces tapamos para que no pierda temperatura. Entonces la concentración va a hacer que el agua suba, ¿no? Ahora, como les dije, el tema de la llama es muy importante. Cuando hay menos Tiene masa líquida, menos... empieza ah, okay, a subir, okay, okay. ¿no? Ahora sí, mira, ¿eh? Le echo. Se echo. Y hunden todo el grano de café, ¿no? Listo. Y. Sigue tapando ahí. Entonces, miren, ¿ve? acá va a empezar a, a subir más rápido. Y cuando empieza a burbujear acá, ya retiro. Como ya hay demasiada concentración de color, retiro para no dañar tanto el café. Ahí es. Y lo que voy a hacer es. Ya. A ver hasta que empiece a caer. Miren, ya está empezando a caer y nada. Aquí va a ser la tela, va a absorber todo el aceite. Entonces.